Hey everyone, Wet Movie One back here again for another room tour uh, video for you guys today. A couple of videos back, um, I said, "Hey guys, if you get if this video gets over 500 thumbs up, I'll, I'll give you another room tour of my uh, current room that I have right now." Before I move on to the new place, uh, that that's going to be happening, and you know, within within the next like you know 20 to 15 to 20 days or so so it's time for another room tour but uh, as you guys can see I have my door uh, right here next to my mom's room and over here is my you know my my brother-in-law my sister and Ethan and Aria's room over here but uh, this is my room and this is what I have outside of my door I have the poster uh, of the crew uh, right here, the wet movie crew. We got the fluffy gamer. We got a handful of the other the other gang on there. But let's head on in uh, to the room itself. And keep in mind, it's kind of a little bit in shambles, kind of a little bit all over the place, a little bit right now, due, you know, due to the move. Uh, that's that's you know going down. But uh, here's a little look uh, <laughs> of the room right here. As you can tell, you can see my bed. I, I didn't really make it. I just kind of like just threw it. You know, through the blanket over. I have, a, you know, some boxes over there getting ready to, you know, start packing some things. Uh, but one of the first things that you see when you walk into my room, uh, you know, you have the poster out here. But then right over here, we have some posters on the wall next to my bed of the Divine Tragedies. These are movies and stuff I've been in or a part of. Uh, this is also uh, also known as Blood Brothers uh, out there on Amazon right now. Blood Brothers, it, it changed names. Of course, we have a poster for Out and About the Movie, the original one. That's on YouTube right now. We also have one for Out and About the Movie 2, uh, right there. That's coming to YouTube on the 13th, uh, March 13th, next month. And we also have one for An Hour to Kill, which is another film that uh, I, help, I, help, uh, I helped out with and, you know, starting a little segment uh, in uh, with my homeboy Aaron. Uh, right here, we see me, Luna, and Gabriel right here in the bottom. You can, you can watch that one right now for free on Amazon Prime. Because like I said, here's my bed. My closet's right here, and I have my, you know, the posters just up on the wall right here. But uh, as you turn this way, on the other side of my bed, we have um, the horror section, which is uh, these two uh, bookcases right here are all filled with horror movies. Where I know, like I said, there's the Big Lebowski set and everything. All horror movies. And uh, right over here, uh, we have um, my martial arts section. But like I said, it's all kind of like mishmashed together right now, you know, when it comes to other stuff. But this is all like my kung fu, martial arts, my one-eyed willy, uh, you know, little skele you know, skeleton toy or, you know, skeleton figure right there. I have like little packing envelopes and, you know, more packing envelopes because I've been selling stuff on my eBay store uh, down there. Just a couple of other like mishmash items. I may get into in-depth on some of these, you know, martial art flicks, you know, down the road. Like this one right here. Uh, Enter, uh, the fat, or Enter the Fat Dragon. Uh, they just remade this one. Uh, with uh, Donnie Yen playing, you know, Fat Dragon. Uh, I think it's ma making a small uh, limited run uh, in theaters right now, if I'm not mistaken, but I haven't seen it yet. Kind of want to, though, because I've been a fan of Sammo Hung and everything. But like I said, this is, a, you know, my martial art movie, you know, section. Like I said, I have this other random box sets down here, like the Herschel Gordon Lewis Blu-ray set. It's kind of, um, like I said, kind of overflowing right now. Like I have, like, you know, the movies kind of... um. You know, some there, some in the back, and then I have them stacked up like this right here. You can see all the dust on them and shit. I gotta, you know, like I said, I have to like you know work on it better uh, when when it comes to all this. But like I said, it's been kind of in disarray due to the move and everything like that. It's more of some of the ho little horror horror movies I have. And maybe one day I'll do like an overview of like all the horror movies I have on DVD and Blu-ray. But that might just take too damn long. Uh, the Wicker Man, the Anchor Bay. A uh, wicker set that came out for the DVD, I believe, back in the... I forgot, I forgot what year it was and stuff, but, like, all sorts of random stuff in here. You know, like, the Vince, uh, Vincent Price collection, you know, uh, The Dentist, which is... I always kind of really liked this movie. This one, and the, the, it had a sequel and everything. But, you know, like I said, it, it just kind of goes up and up, you know, and I even have um, some autograph stuff here on top. Uh, you know, uh, my Friday the 13th tin set. That's signed by Harry Manfredini, the guy that did the music for a lot of the Friday the 13th movies. It's also signed by Kane Hodder down here underneath the J card. I also have a signed uh, Jason Goes to Hell VHS signed by Kane Hodder from when I was a kid. You know, just a bunch of random, you know, other autograph stuff. Like I have Jason X DVD signed by the director who's no longer with us. Uh, an autograph copy of Lionheart by a lot of the cast members, of course, not John claude Van Damme because he wasn't in attendance. 
on my autograph Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And of course some other just, you know, horror movies and stuff. Hopefully when I do the move, I can maybe organize things better. Or just keep them in boxes because I don't know how much room, to be honest, I'm going to have uh, at, you know, at this new place as of right now. But I'm just kind of giving you like a, a little overview. Yeah, I know. I, I could have I pre-dusted stuff, but, but I'm going to pan the camera this way. I know this is kind of like a simple video, but if you pan the camera this way, uh, you would get my computer table, my little computer desk and everything like that. Uh, here's like a little stack of movies, of uh, Blu-rays and DVDs I've gotten uh, recently that I have to watch and talk about. You know, the fly that I got from the companies and stuff like How High, or no, High, high School High, American, you know, Pie, Band Camp, the final season of Step by Step. You know, just a couple of other, like, review copy things that I, I don't have time to watch as of right now because of the move. But this you know, this is where I usually keep my, uh, you know, my, my, my stuff I have to, my, my have to watch list. I even got this thing in the mail that <laughs> today, I don't even know what this what this is, but let me see, I'm gonna open this up. Here, might as well just do this for the little room tour for the hell of it. This is just something random. Not even sure what this is that came in the mail today. Oh wait, okay, it is it's something I got off of eBay. Something I ordered off of eBay that I can add to my uh, martial art collection, my kung fu collection here. And it's uh, a DVD, it says, uh, special limited, limited uncut edition of uh, Funny Kung Fu. I saw a trailer to this online. Looks like it was kind of wacky, kind of zany, kind of out there. But uh, let's get back to the tour. But like I said, we got my little, you know, computer set up right here. I don't have anything big or crazy. It's just a regular, you know, Mac computer. My little screensaver is the Night Owls Blu-ray uh, promo shot uh, that we have uh, going on. We turn it this way. We have my 4K uh, section with a couple of, like, you know, clerk's toys. You know, up on top over there with some DVDs and, you know, more 4Ks and stuff. I got to organize things better. I even have my, you know, Chong's Choice hat. Uh, you know, Tommy Chong's uh, marijuana hat that I uh, got, you know, from the man himself. And everything like that. Just a couple of other random things like a thing of receipts from, like, the eBay orders and different things like that I have to keep in case people ask for, you know, shipping information and stuff. I have some more, like, DVD racks next to my television right here. Along with uh, two, uh, two VCRs, I have one is just a regular VCR. One's a, a, a DVD VCR combo pack. I have some old uh, family videotapes that I found uh, that I've been like you know looking at, looking through. I kind of want to you know find a way to transfer them to digital, so maybe I can like cut them together in like little clips and put them on YouTube. You know, like little like old family videos of me on YouTube and stuff. That'd be kind of cool. We got my TV set up right here. We got the cable box, which is kind of useless. Because we don't really use cable that much anymore. Uh, we got, the, you know, the, of course, the player. We got the TV. We got other boxes, uh, you know, over here that are filled with those little, uh, you know, soda cans with my face on it. Like this thing right here, if you guys have seen this. But uh, this is like an empty bottle. that has like Joneses on it, but it has like a picture of me on it. We have like two boxes full of like, you know, soda cans. You know, with my with my face on it right there. And like I said, this is the other side of my room right here. The other, you know, batch of like, you know, Blu-rays and everything uh, that we have going on over here. Um, I have this little section <laughs> off to the side where I have like different Blu-rays and DVDs of stuff that I, I've been a part of. Like Out and About, Hour to Kill, Sheriff Tom versus the Zombies. Like, you know, just other different movies like Blood Brothers. Like that poster I told you about in the beginning of this video. You know, bro, what happened? Like all these movies I either have a quick cameo in or an extra in or have lines in. These are like a little section of movies like I'm a part of right there. And of course I have all these different, uh, you know, autograph stuff, you know, right here. Like this on the wall, I didn't see, I didn't show you this when I walked in my door. But uh, I have my uh, Salute Your Shorts poster signed by a lot of the cast members. And of course my friend Michael Ray Bauer, AKA Donkey Lips from the show. Got my homeboy Ethan as Captain America on the wall right there, along with this uh, 3D box of uh, Friday the 13th. I always kind of really like that, and I'm glad I have that uh, in my collection right here. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I still have this thing, man. This is my alarm clock, the Millennium Falcon and stuff. Whenever I set my alarm to wake up in the morning, it goes, Dah! you know, the, it has the, like, the Star Wars theme and stuff. Let me see. Let me hit it. Let me show you. Uh, no, you know what? It would be annoying if I did. I forget. Never mind. But yeah, like I just like, you know, have a sections of, uh, you know, just different Blu-rays. I have the South Park seasons back there. You know, just like a mixture of things. I, I can't really go in depth because I'll be here all, all day and everything like that. But like I said, I have like other autograph stuff right here. 
I have things I'm not going to really showcase all of them, but, like, you know, Ernie Reyes Jr., you know, signed that one. I have the cast of uh, Victor Crowley signed my Blu-ray of this one right here from Dark Delicacies. All sorts of stuff, man. Like, I even have a Friday uh, Blu-ray right here that's signed by Tiny Zeus Lister and Ice Cube uh, right here. You can see both the videos I did, you know, with these guys on, on my YouTube channel. I even have my Breaking Blu-ray signed by Boogaloo Shrimp himself. Do the Right Thing. Uh, it's signed by uh, Ernest Dickerson, the cinematographer uh, of the movie, and I have it signed by Spike Lee, which is just the, probably one of the weakest autographs I have next to, next, next to Nicolas Cage and everything, but I have just other autograph stuff. I have my blockbuster sign, you know, up, up here, which I have to put on better display. It keeps falling over that I got from when I used to work at Blockbuster. Even have my Ernest doll uh, up on top over there along with my little... Uh, promotional piece uh, for Rumble in the Bronx that uh, Danny got for me from uh, oh, from Guy's Video Store when it was still open and everything, right? I can't forget this. Hoarding Heroes, man. Did you guys remember I'm a toy? You know, Gabriel and I are little action figures, man. You know what I mean? You can collect the whole crew. Uh, well, they only ever made this one. This was the only one that was ever made. But, like, you know, have an action figure of me and Gabriel, dude. Come on now. You, you, can't, you, can't, you can't go wrong with a little hoarding heroes uh, in your life right there. Of course, other autograph stuff. I even have my, uh, you know, Super Nintendo Classic uh, right there along with my uh, Tommy Chong Up in Smoke. You know, my Up in Smoke DVD signed by Tommy Chong. Still have the weed, uh, you know, some of the weed that he gave us uh, during our Las Vegas adventure trip that we did. Thought that was super cool. Even have this baseball uh, signed by Thomas Ian Nicholas, the star of, uh, you know, um, Rookie of the Year and stuff. That's cool. I have, I, I, that's cool. I have that. I also have a signed VHS copy of uh, Mr. Nanny signed by Hulk Hogan uh, himself. Even this DVD signed by Bret Hart, Bret the Hitman Hart. And a bunch of just other, you know, miscellaneous autograph stuff. Kevin Smith autographs and my autographed uh, DVD of uh, this first season of Power Rangers signed by a lot of the cast members. And we can't forget this. We can't forget, you know, the Christina Ricci, bro. You can't forget that Christina Ricci photo I had to spend like 60 bucks for at this one convention. My very first photo op that I paid for at a convention. Don't, don't normally do that. I <laughs> don't normally do that. But uh, yeah, we have the, like I said, this is the other side. You know, of the room, of the collection and stuff. But of course I have a bunch of other things downstairs and in the garage. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick little, uh, you know, room tour of what this place looks like now. Compared to what it's probably going to be in the next place. Because I'm not sure how much room I'm going to have. Or if a lot of it's going to be packed up in boxes and just, you know, stored away. Because I, I, to be honest, I really don't need to keep everything out on display. Or, or anything like that. But before I forget, you, you see that thing? The big Toy Story? Uh, display I got from uh, from this uh, one uh, Walmart. It was it, this, the people were taking it down. I'm like, could I take that home? And they're like, okay. And I got I, I took it home and put it up there. It's, it's kind of not super heavy, but it's you know not light either. But I also have the picture of myself from a uh, what is it called the uh, you know the martial art history museum when they were make, when they were doing Dragon Fest at a martial art movie convention. They put that on there when I was doing my seminar. Uh, over there, so I just kept that as a little, you know, display piece, like some, like some cringe hole. But you know, that's how I do it, man. That's how I do it. Oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. I do have some movies, you know, in my closet. I've been working on it a little bit. I have a, you know, my sister's old teddy bear when she was a little girl in here, keeping it, trying to keep it safe from the kids. My Wonder Years box set. You know, just like scattered Blu-rays uh, of stuff right there and more. Uh, you know, DVDs and stuff in here. There you can, as you can see, there's like a open, like a section right here of nothingness. I kind of emptied empty some stuff out and, you know, put some, put some of it on eBay and different things like that. And of course, I have my, um, my, my NES classic in here. If you got, you know, I got that one and I got the Super Nintendo classic and well, along with an old flyer for Fangoria's <laughs> Weekend of Horror. I used to go to those conventions too back in the day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little room tour uh, of the room I have now before I move to the new place. Uh, if you guys dug this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to a thousand uh, thumbs up. So if you, if you like what I do, 
please support me by hitting that uh, thumbs up button, following me on my social media sites to, in, my, in the description box of this video, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you on the next one.